welcome back to another weekly vlog. So today it is Monday the 16th of June, is it? 16th of June, I think it is. No, the 17th of June. I'm behind with holidays, but it it is actually my day off today. So basically, I've had a few days holiday to take at work, and because my contract is Monday, Tuesday, I am off this week for two days, which is going to be very nice. So I'm going to make the most of my two days off. I say that, I probably won't. I'm going to make the most of getting content filmed for the handbag business because like I don't exactly have a lot of time in the week to do that and if like when I finish work lighting's never as good and things and like I'm tired and like I just don't have the energy whereas today I'm probably gonna have the energy um but yes I've just had a little Spanish cleaning company uh, parcel arrive because I ordered a couple of the uh humidifier juice fragrances I don't know if people have heard of them but basically it's basically almost a bit of like essential oil for like your diffusers at home but these are going to be for the salon and I ordered a couple I think they came to £20 including postage but they are very big and you only need a lot but, but the only thing is one of them has slightly leaked in the packaging because I could smell it as soon as I opened it and I knew it had leaked but like it's only leaked a tiny bit but I have ordered one in the signature scent and one in the K Marie one but obviously this is leaked a little bit as you can see the packaging but honestly like you will never not hear me stop talking about like all the sponge clean stuff now because I am obsessed I'm addicted but yeah they do smell really nice but I've only smelt the leaking one but I may open the other one I've not got a full face makeup on this morning because I've had it well I've had a full face makeup on for three days straight and to be honest my skin has just started to break out like on my chin um, and on my forehead i have just slapped on a bit of mascara the two faced one obviously is the best but i did add some tanning drops onto my face last night i think i added five to my face because um i tanned on saturday night and i added two layers of the soul skin fake tans so nice and brown but i just thought i would kind of match my face to my neck because otherwise it looks awfully pale but yeah so I don't know what to do with myself now to be honest it's it's only quarter past nine and I've been up for about two hours because yesterday and this morning I could not lie in I don't know what it is I don't know if I know that I'm going to be off and I want to make most of the day or what but it's really crap like it's been really annoying me but yeah um but I do feel tired I'm not going to lie, I do need to go to the bank, but I need to stay into it for this yodel parcel, which is tried to be delivered twice and no one's been in to, like, to pick it up, like to, to answer. And if it if no one's in today, then that means that I'm probably sent back to the sender, so I don't want that happening. So I'm a bit stressed about that, I'm thinking, well, if I leave the house it'd be typical, the port, like the the yodel delivery guy will be at the house and I'm not here but it's one of them things isn't it so yeah I think I'm probably gonna get on with cleaning I changed the bedding last night because it needed done like so bad um and I mean my room isn't too dirty really like it, it never is dirty but like you know when it just builds up I mean it isn't that bad actually because I'm keeping on top of it now the best way to do but yeah but my outfit for the day today I've got an PLT Red Slinky Body Cream, I've had this for years, but honestly, they seem to wash so well, so comfortable to wear. I don't know if they still do this style of body suit on PLT, they probably do. And then I have my Sheen flare jeans on, um, in the petite, the extra, extra small, size 4, because they fit me so perfectly. I can get away with not wearing a belt either as well, which is good, so it's excellent. But yeah, I'm just going to crack on with my jobs. I may take some photos or some stock, you know, just like things that people are wanting to see and I'll see from there really Let's see how it goes look at the the little uh what's it called the air freshener dangling above my head but I am in the car basically I've just gotten to Gretna Gateway because I need to go to the makeup shop quickly just to have a look at some darker shades of foundation because in my makeup kit at the salon because obviously I'm a makeup artist um I don't have a lot of darker shades for black people pretty much and I've got a few black clients booked in pretty much they've kind of let me know about their skin tone because obviously where I live like there's not a lot of diversity so 
we're gonna have a look here first because the cosmetics company shop last time i was here had a lot of darker shades of like foundations concealers and they've got the two face concealer which is the best um, i've actually used it i'm on dry today because i don't have any foundation on just because i faked hand and i put one of the salt skin tanning drops on my face um and i do have a few spots but I just thought if i put a lot of foundation on my face it's gonna clog my skin up also the the back road to get to gretna was blocked off by asda which it's a lot easier driving on there compared to the motorway but i had to drive in the motorway it's a good job i do drive in the motorway sometimes but i mean i suppose it kind of i suppose it kind of gave the car a bit of a run anyways but um, my outfit of the day my outfit of the day quickly i've just got a kind of a can of the goose the chili on it's one i bought off vinted it is a genuine piece it's pink and then i have my lululemon jacket thing on underneath just because i thought it would match and then i have my new lucy leggings on and i've got my lv bag with me as well just my speed just because i thought easy to fit everything in but i've actually i managed to park in the main car park which is very rare because often you have to go like in the overspill car park but i mean it's kind of quiet hopefully it isn't too busy there's still plenty of people about but Yes, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take you along. I'm also filming a little TikTok, the day of my life. Honestly, TikToks take up your whole day, like especially like the day in the life ones. Like I'm like, oh my god. But yeah, I'm gonna go and film a TikTok as well. God, I'm stressed out. But yeah, um, it looks like it might rain, but I have brought my umbrella, which is good because no one wants to be drenched. But I think I'm gonna start at the very top of the the. the the shopping place and then went my way down but then yeah i'll see i've literally just got back home and i was lazy i always do this if i'm on my own but i think i'm addicted i got a mcdonald's i mean i've not had a mcdonald's in about a month or so now so technically i'm allowed to and i tripped myself to some uh chicken nuggets you know the 20 share box the so three for three the deal has gone now so like I would have gone for the three to three pounds, but you can't, well, it's what it is. So I've got 20 chicken nuggets. Before I show you that, I went to the cosmetics company shop in Gretna. That was like the main reason I went, because I did tell you. Um, and they had a lot of MAC makeup Tom Ford, Estee Lauder, Clinique, for Bobby Brown, Too Faced. And because I've got a darker client um, in on Saturday, I didn't have the right makeup for her so i managed to get three, two foundations and one concealer for 50 pounds which i know is still quite pricey but if you think like the retail price is a lot more so i came to 51 pounds 10 i got 21 pounds 90 off extra that's really good so i, I got for two mac foundations i was having a look at the two face ones but there weren't any darker ones and because i'm not as keen on the two faced bonus wear foundation but i went for nc55 which is like a dark one i mean it's quite dark this anyways i don't know how dark she will be but i went for that it has spf in it as well the studio fix it's a classic and then i went for nc60 this one is a serum powered foundation i've never seen this one it's like a studio radiance this is nc60 which probably is a bit dark as well but I love the packaging of these. I think they're so nice. I love the gold writing. Um, but obviously, I can mix them with lighter foundations. So, like, I can use these to darken foundations as well. It's like, it's no big deal. And then I got the Too Faced One Swear Concealer in Mahogany, which I think will be the right shade. I'm hoping it's lighter compared to the other ones. But this concealer is the best. Like, if you've never tried, get to know. Especially, like, if you're going to, like, a designer outlet and they've got the cosmetics company shop it's worth having a look in there for the two face concealers because i've been lucky enough to get my own shades in them in there before but yeah i'm buzzing i'm buzzing with that happy with my purchases now we're going to enjoy my 20 chicken nuggets because the girl is hungry and i couldn't be bothered to make anything so look at them yeah it's unhealthy but i don't have mcdonald's often like it's just a treat and because i'm off work it's it's a it's an off work treat, okay? I'm gonna turn to It is Wednesday morning, late morning. It's almost eleven o'clock. I mean, Bon, I'm gonna have a little walk into town because I'm gonna have a look in Boots and Superdrug, um, possibly Primark potentially as well. Just 
For a little shopping trip really, but I like to have a look at the new makeup in the shops, that's why we're gonna go. But yes, I literally just have on my new look bodysuit, my AliExpress cardigan, Gucci belt and Sheen flare jeans on. <laughs> but I was thinking I might take my Chanel boy bag out of me, can I really take the boy bag out? Um, just because I think it'll go nicer with my outfit compared to my Speedy. But then the Speedy is more practical to be able to keep everything. Because even though even though this bag is is ever so slightly shorter in width compared to the Speedy, it's there is not a lot of space in like the Chanel bags. If you know what I mean, because like they're very structured and not made for shopping, I suppose. But I might I might just take my Speedy out of me. I think it's easier, practical, and. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think so. I think that's probably a sensible idea. That's why mums or parents often have big bags with them because obviously they need to fit everything in with them. Also, it's made a mess. I just need to, I need to fold it back into place. Yes, I'm thinking, plan, this is in focus, I'm sorry. Yeah, Um. the plan is I'm going to measure this unit here um, and then I'm going to measure the back wall and if there's space to have two of these on this wall then I'm going to have more space for handbags and shoes which is the plan because right now I mean I've still got a handful of bags in the boxes right now because there's no space so this bag is having to sit on here which is fine because it's like it's quite a big bag but yeah it's no more space for now so I'm just going to I'm going to measure but one thing is like the the shipping cost for Ikea like it's really expensive so like it's actually cheaper to go to Ikea so I might have to ask Sam if he want well well it'll fit in his car if he if he's able to um to come with me and help me out obviously because I mean it's quite a heavy box so yeah back home now people after to town I've taken my eyelashes off because I thought it was the eyelashes and made my eyes water but I put some SPF on my face and my eye keeps watering and stinging probably because like it's kind of sweated into my eyes, a bit disgusting but you know. By the way, me and Bon we went into Powerland and I bought a bottle of the Robinsons of Blackberry and Blue um, and Blackcurrant drink, so good. And then Bon spotted these Bala Bites, basically like Cut up ballistics. Yeah, she loves ballistics, but these are actually really nice. Um productive. And then in Poundland, yeah, not in Poundland, in Primark. Now I feel like they had a lot of nice stuff, but it's increased in price a lot anyways. I just got just plain white t-shirt for eight pounds. I don't think Eight pounds is too bad. It's pretty nice quality. It won't be too see through. I don't think. Um, just it's just handy to wear, and I got it in a two XS because well, well, I already have a top it's like same style as this, but a different material, and it's kind of gone all funny in the wash a little bit, just a little bit. But I like the material of this, and that's all I bought in Primark just because. You know, I don't need any more clothes. I wasn't looking at this lovely cardigan, but I thought £19, I could get it on AliExpress for about a tenner. So, I left it. And then, in Superdrug, first off, I bought a, a sol, Solate Superdrug. It's Superdrug's own spray SPF 50 for holiday. I've already got one from Tesco, but I thought I would try the Superdrug own because I've heard that Superdrug own, Boots own, Tesco's own are some of the best and I have actually been using the Tesco's SPF 50 cream and that is really good and it's quite cheap but I thought I'd get this because the spray bottle is sometimes easier than a lotion sometimes to put on especially on holiday and then I bought because I've got a darker client coming in soon I, I bought the Studio London Flaunt Flawless bronzing cream in the shade number two. It is quite dark, but I'm hoping it'll be alright for that client. Bon has picked out a couple of these, and I just, I love them as well. 
the Barry M Jelly nail polishes, purple and yellow. Opposite the colours, but they are really nice. Um, and we are probably going to paint our nails together with these. So that's all we've got. But anyways, we're going to test out the Bond's new DS because she also ordered a DS as well. Um, it has a lot of games of it, so we're going to try that. Let's have some more of those sweets. You want some more of them? Sweets? No, thanks. Okay. Um, yeah. Do you smell the food? In the salon now, I've got one of the little Spanish cleaning uh, diffuser oil things. Obviously, this one had leaked in the packet a little bit, but it's the... What's it called? It's the something Marie. Aroma Marie or something? I don't, I don't know. But it smells so nice. I'm just going to put this... In my neon diffuser, it smells so strong. I know it like, has been leaking, but I'm just going to put this in my diffuser. Yeah, it's full on leaked everywhere. Just gonna put some of this in, and we'll see how it smells. Hopefully, it smells nice. Oh my god, that does smell so fruity. Let's plug this in, put this on. These diffusers, by the way, are the best. They look so nice. Let's have a smell. You can see it already. Let's have a smell. Look. It smells so nice. Beautiful. Good morning. So it is now Friday and I've woken up with a blocked ear still. I think I updated the vlog last night basically. I started to get blocked ear and every time I talk I can just hear like vibrations of me talking. Like it's really weird. I've, ne like, I've always had problems with my ears ever since I was a child but this I've never really experienced as such before because like I do get blocked ears when I get cold but I haven't I don't have a cold also I'm just putting on my Neutrogena moisturizer it's oil free one it's really good because well I'm not putting on a full face of makeup today because well, whilst my skin is kind of clear and I have some tanning drops on my face and tan on the rest of my body I've got a bit of like a new sort of routine for like my eyebrows and eyes pretty much and I feel like it still gives off the effect of me wearing makeup. I didn't put any any fresh tiny drops on last night but I just thought I would show you so like I make sure that I have the moisturiser through my eyebrows first kind of brush them through yeah this vibration I don't know if I'm shouting or if I'm talking normally I can't quite tell it's really annoying but I've tried to blow my nose I tried to do the hold your nose and kind of blow sort of trick if you've ever tried that when like you've had a blocked ear you'll know what i mean but i'm going to be using the morphe eyebrow pomade in biscotti and just kind of line underneath my eyebrows and then on the top but yeah i've got a nice sort of day today in the salon like i'm not too overrun with clients which is good sometimes because next week is the full-on prom week where like i've got someone from mobile makeup i think on the wednesday or thursday and then on the friday next week um i think i've got about seven prom girls all in the afternoon it's going to be stressful but it'll be worth it you know prom i feel like proms are, are quite a big deal now aren't they like i, I remember even six years ago well, I did my own makeup, but like, I got my hair done, I got my nails done, you know, I had my tan on. I did get my dress out of the quiz though for £40, everyone else had paid like the £200 of the dresses, but mine still looked as nice. I don't think I've got a photo, but if I do, I'll find a photo and put it here, but my face, compared to my neck, was so white. I feel like I look so ugly on my prom photo, but I feel like everyone probably feels the same about the prom photos now, like... Especially when you're in your 20s, you look back and you think, what the hell was I thinking? But, just one of them, yeah. So my eyebrows, I, sometimes my eyebrows go really well or really bad, but I have just been tweezing them because, well, I waxed me up a lip in the salon yesterday, 
because it was hairy as anything and it was overdue a wax pretty much but the eyebrows seem to like stress me out more so I'm like I don't really want to do my eyebrows so if you keep on top of tweezing then it won't be that bad but it still is painful tweezing your own eyebrows so but yeah my eyebrows seem to be going all right today but I do prefer an eyebrow pomade though compared to like an eyebrow pencil just because I feel like it, it fills them in a bit easier and it also adds a little bit of thickness nothing too much but just enough to make them look a bit fuller which my eyebrows could definitely do with sometimes. Got some new clients in today some new clients in for waxing and I think eyelashes as well which is all I feel like that eyelashes on new clients it's always a bit of pressure because especially if they've been to someone else before like you've got to try and match like what the person's done beforehand sort of thing or try and make sure that like they're all they're all nice and even on both sides because it isn't easy sometimes like, to try to do eyelashes on 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 new people but it'll be fine now so now that my eyebrows are pretty much done they're kind of even they don't have to be perfect it's just eyebrows isn't it like my eyebrows are never gonna well I, as I say, eyebrows and sisters, not twins. Um, it's now time for the little bit of eyeliner just on my lash line because this adds a bit of thickness to my lashes before I put my lashes on. If I can find my eyeliner brush, which seems to be hiding somewhere, I just use a little peaches and cream one, wherever it's disappeared to. Where's my brush gone? Oh, here it is. Yeah, the peaches and cream. I couldn't find it for the life of me. And I'm just going to line my lash line, nothing too thick, just a little sort of line. Just then it hides the little gap between your fake eyelashes and your natural eyelashes. Cause, cause sometimes it can do that. A bit of the Maybelline Sky High Mascara, this is good. So it's a good shoot for the Too Faced one if you want to spend half the amount, because the Too Faced one is expensive. But I still do prefer the Too Faced one. Just add something onto my lashes. Yeah, I've been having a little bit of like a breakout on my chin recently and I think it's just because obviously like my, this is going to be like a, a bit of a girl talk here, but my um my period symptoms have now changed. Like it used to be where the week before I was due on, I used to get these dizzy spells and then I would, I would get a few small spots like a couple of days before, but anyways, now it's changed to where like and I'll get the dizzy spells after my period has ended and then I start to break out like does anyone else's symptoms change all the time I mean I still get the really painful awful cramps beforehand but I suppose you know it's not good but it's just a bit annoying because then <laughs> these spots have to linger for ages it's so annoying anyways I'm now going to put my lashes on the the Dreamcatcher ones by Pound Lashes and then I'll come back and I'll show you what else I do and then be all done, all, all ready for the day. And now that my eyelashes are on, yeah, they are on my eyes, I'm now going to use a tiny bit of the Too Faced Born Swim Mascara in the shade Seashell also. I don't know how this has happened, but I've got eyeliner all around my hand. Literally, all you need is a tiny, tiny, tiny drop of this because the applicator is very big. And actually, speaking of this concealer, a few months ago, me and Charlie popped into town, I think, after meeting for lunch or something. And she said how she wanted to try out some new makeup. So I gave her some recommendations and she bought this concealer and some other bits. But she said how she's literally just been using this on her face for, like, foundation and it's, like really good so you know honest reviews around here anyways literally just like a tiny tiny drop like nothing too much like literally just like a tiny tiny bit like that that's all you need because obviously you don't want it to look too too much under your eyes otherwise it'll look a bit fake so i'm just using a little a little soft brush and just kind of blending this underneath so then like it adds a bit of like a natural sort of brightness for your under eyes because my under eyes today even though I've slept for about a good nine hours still feel and look 
like black as anything. Tiny bit of the Laura Mercier loose powder. Literally you just have to go underneath your eyes like so and then any excess I just like to put all over my face. I've got quite oily skin so I just go like this but that is basically the, the kind of makeup that I do wear for when I have got a bit of tan on my face and on the rest of my body just to then like well only if my skin is having a good day which it kind of is morning everyone it's sunday and i am currently doing housewife duties pretty much because my family had left the house at uh what time did they leave it two o'clock in the morning this morning like obviously to go on holiday because i've mentioned they're on holiday so mum has told me just to keep on top of the washing i mean they won't i won't really create a lot of washing to do anyways because like when there's only one person it's a lot easier to maintain but i'm literally just putting everything in the washing machine people probably aren't interested in watching this but you know what sometimes it motivates people by like say i watch someone who does like who who uploads cleaning videos on tiktok or youtube or like well and part of a vlog it then motivates me to, like to do it so hopefully this part of the vlog we will motivate someone to either do the washing or do something around the house um <laughs> how interesting really how interesting um but yeah sam has also landed this morning i was tracking his flight last night because um i think he was flying to liverpool airport i've never flown from there before i think it's quite a small airport but i think he got back at like half one this morning so basically everyone's just going on holiday at the moment and I've still got like two months to wait, which it feels like ages away, but it'll come by quickly. Oh. I also got to put a colour catcher sheet in. The Dr. Beckman ones are really good. If you put it in a little knitted bag just because they don't get caught up in like, you know, it's like the inside of the, of the machine. Put that in there. Now, my mum told me, right, I need to put it on that setting. Now, so that is now going to be setting up. I'm now going to put all of this washing out outside on the world gig thing. Yeah, so you know, I'm a good daughter. Um, I've already I've already collected a load of dry clothing and put it in everyone's room. So hopefully she'll appreciate it. It is lunchtime. I'm hungry. I spent all morning slapping a bit of makeup on. I filmed a bit of content for a collaboration and I had to edit the same video because it's actually going up today and it needs to get approved by technically six o'clock because the time will be uploading it. So I'm a bit stressed. I'm going to be seeing Sam this afternoon as well, but I think he's still asleep. It's currently half twelve, but I am now hungry, so I'm going to be playing the boring. And just have a ham sandwich because there is a tub of ham open, so I might as well just, you know, use it. So I'm just gonna have some wholemeal bread. You know, I never used to be a fan of wholemeal bread, but now I don't really care to be honest. Like, I'm not the type of person, I don't know, like, I'm definitely not as fussy compared to two years ago. Like, two years ago, I wouldn't even eat like a spike ball or like, I don't know, a chicken curry or something pathetic like that. But I'd say more three years ago now, actually. I think. Probably been with like my ex-boyfriend probably helped me try new foods which I know isn't the best reason why but I feel like I probably just like in lockdown and things obviously I couldn't exactly choose what I was going to have to eat like it was just kind of given to me. I wouldn't ever choose like you know exotic sort of seafood like mussels or shrimps something like that like I like I'm fussy with some things, but not with others, like, but you know, anyways, I'm just going to slap a bit of butter on. What is your guys' favourite type of butter? Because I just, oh god, the butter's going everywhere. It's my favourite type of butter. It's got to be, you know, just like the salted spreadable one. So I'm not a fan of Lurpak, like, I like the sort of salted butter taste more than just like a plain sort of white creamy one, you know. Mum also stocked up on the sea drug crisps for me yeah i'm really plain jane when it comes to crisps like i love the seed 
Seabrook ones because like I prefer crinkled crisps over just like you know the plain ones but I do like steak flavoured crisps but I'm not a massive lover of any other flavours of crisps I'm really weird like that with crisps I always have been though like even as a child I've always been a really solid sort of girl can anyone relate anyways I'm just I'm just gonna cut this up and then I'm gonna have my lunch and hopefully I'll see Sam in about an hour because I really want to see him but obviously I'm not gonna go around whilst he's sleeping that'd be a bit weird I've literally just got back from seeing Sam like I've literally just been in the house for a couple of minutes anyways it was really nice to see him he's had a good holiday um I think a week was probably ever so slightly too long but um he did have a good holiday and he's he doesn't really have a tan really but that's because they were sat in the shade in the bars most of the time so but he had a good holiday anyways anyways I went into his room and um I saw this gold wrapping paper with like a red bow on it it's oh, bless him he got me my favourite perfume the YSL Libra one like I wasn't expecting him to get a I wasn't expecting him to get me a present but like if he was going to get me something I was thinking it would only be like a little bracelet or something which is so cute um, and this packaging is so nice it's so classy because the one I've got at the moment I've probably only got about well don't even have a quarter of the perfume left but it's a type of perfume because it doesn't last long in year you end up spraying like hundreds of sprays but so so cute but yes I'm back home I'm now going to be bringing all the second load of washing in um, and get that all folded up and all them jobs and I'm probably just going to turn my makeup off, have a nice chill, I've got some sheen clothes to try on I've got a lovely pink dress actually and a couple of pairs of jeans which this parcel arrived the other day but I've not had a chance to try them but I mean, I, well, I could have had the chance to try them on but I just haven't been bothered but yeah anyways I am going to end this video here because I'm just going to be doing house jobs really, my hands are dry and crusty, I need to moisturise them and I'm just going to have a nice chilled evening on my own it's kind of lonely but it's not too bad but yes if you guys have enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up comment down below also subscribe and i will see you all in my next video bye everyone